Kenyan athletes are a common fixture in many sporting events around the world. However, there is a Kenyan DJ who is taking the Kenyan beat to the world stage. Poison Ivy the DJ is a Dallas Maverick sports sound strategist. I was born and raised in Nairobi. Um, Langata is home for me and has been my whole life. Well, my home in the city, obviously. A poison Ivy the DJ started DJing at the age of 19 while still at the university. Today, she controls sound at the American Airlines Center during and after Dallas Mavericks games. It's incredible, honestly. Um, I, I think I'm so lucky. I mean, I have one of 30 jobs in the world, you know what I mean, in terms of the NBA. Granted, there are more basketball clubs around the world, but... You know, I'm not exactly sure about the development of that position, but in terms of the NBA, it's one of 30, right? Um, I grew up a die-hard Mavericks fan, so I literally wake up every day going to work for my favorite team, you know? Um, but beyond that, um, I mean, I just feel very blessed because music is a ministry, right? And it's my ministry. In 2018, she became the first ever female DJ to play at an NBA All-Star game. She came to the limelight in Kenya when she played King Kaka's song Dundaing during an NBA match between the Mavericks and Sacramento Kings. Earlier this year, she was at it again when she played Major's new tune Siski. Her love for Kenyan music is immeasurable. Um, there's absolutely room for all of that because that... In totality, that's what makes us who we are as a people. So there's no way that we can pick and choose and shine and praise and do all of that. No, we have to, as you know, we always talk about like how Kenyan music doesn't have an identity. Well, my reason for that is because we haven't allowed for it to, we haven't accepted what we've created. We're always trying to figure out, well, who's this? No, we are who we are. A fan of the Kenya men's basketball team, the Morans, she had a suggestion to the Ministry of Sports in a series of tweets concerning Team Kenya. It's a basketball Africa league, and I feel as though everything around it, and, and again, if you look at the branding, if you look at everything around this league, uh, it, 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 it takes in and it considers and it factors in local culture, right? They're very, very intent on making sure that it stays, it feels like Africa, right? She's hopeful that a Kenyan team will make it to the tournament next year. Poison Ivy the DJ is currently in Kigali, Rwanda, where she was appointed the official music and sound coordinator at the inaugural edition of the Basketball Africa League. It's incredible. It's, it's surreal. I still walk into a Kigali arena and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, this is actually happening, you know? So many props go out to the president of the Basketball Africa League, um, Amadou Gallo Fall, for having a vision and executing it. When she's not on the turntables, Poison Ivy the DJ is advocating for various causes and working with the non-profit organizations that enable young women pursuing careers in music and organizations that aid health issues affecting young women. Chris Miguambo, K24 Sport.